Welcome back, my dear friends. Welcome back to Orcha Sadikim, the ways of the righteous. We are using the Treasure for Life edition, and we are on page 143. Today we're going to start a new topic, and that topic is the topic of shame. Shame, or feeling a sense of much-needed privacy, perhaps. And we'll see what that means as we go through this chapter. Amru Chachamim, our sages told us, Hasechel hu haboshes, intellect is shame. Veboshes hu hasechel, and shame is intellect. Ki al adam vechavanema, we know about Adam and Eve. Vayiyu shneim arumim ha'adam ve'ishto ve'loyis b'shashu. We know that it says the verse states in Genesis 2, verse 25, they were both naked, and they were not embarrassed from one another. They weren't embarrassed from one another. Why? Because our sages tell us they didn't know to distinguish between good and bad, between good and evil. And after they ate from the tree of knowledge, Namar, the verse states, Vatipo kachno ene shnehem. And both of their eyes opened. Meaning, you don't know what blue is till I show you the color blue and you see blue. You don't know what red is till I show you the color red and you know that you associate the word red with the color red. But if you never saw red, you don't know what red is. I can talk about red and blue all day and you will never know what I'm talking about. How did Adam and Eve know what modesty was if they never had the concept of modesty well till they were didn't eat from the tree of knowledge they did not have any awareness of what modesty even meant and therefore they were uh, ignorant to that concept once they ate from the tree of knowledge they were introduced to what it means having a lack of modesty. All animals, except for mankind, since animals don't have wisdom, a higher level of wisdom like human beings have, therefore they have no embarrassment with immodesty. And everybody knows the virtues of wisdom and intellect. Kiba Yagia El El Amitas Hadvarim. Only through wisdom do you get to the truth. Can you investigate? Can you overcome challenges? Uba Gam Yagia Lahodos Biyhudboro. And only through intellect and wisdom can one come to the realization of Hashem's oneness. Blessed is he. And to serve Hashem, and only through intellect and wisdom are we able to com- to be compared and similar to the angels. And since the virtue of wisdom is so great, it needs to have a friend that is identical to it, identical in value. What is the parallel or the peer for, you know, they do wine peering, they pair it with food. What's the peer to wisdom? Shehimidas habusha. It is the trait of shame. Shame is the partner, the mate to wisdom. Krovola b'ma'alosa. It is very, very identical and close to it in its virtue. And what's the proof to that? He says, the author says, because I've never seen someone who's humble and, 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 and carries um, shame. See, the word that we use for shame is like we say, oh, shame on you or something. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about a sense of, uh, I would even say a modesty. Okay. The, let's use the term modesty for now. But the idea of, of having a little bit of uh, introspection on oneself. So the author says, I've never seen someone who has that modesty who doesn't have wisdom. I've never seen someone who's wise who doesn't have that modesty.
ועל כן רואי שישתדל אדם להסנאי במידה החשוב הזאת ולהשחק עם בו. He says, therefore, he says, it's proper for every intelligent person to live their life with this trait. עד שתהא קבוע בנפשו ויגביר עושה על כל טבעות. And he should pronounce it in all of his do- goings on. ותהיה בעין אף חשובה משאר מידוסה. And it should be, um, it should be more of pronounced than all of his other traits. And by having this trait, he will reach great, great heights in his spirituality, and he will stay away from really awful traits. Having this sense of shame, shame means a value for yourself. A person who has no shame is the person you see walking in middle of the well, maybe some of those pro- protesters have no shame. They have no self-worth. but but imagine the guy you see walking down the the uh, the escalator in the mall eating his footlong pizza. In front of and everyone has this image in their mind they know what I'm talking about because like we've all seen that guy I just know like like an animal no self-worth no self-value right so such a person is guaranteed to have certain serious flaws in their character that is going to be very difficult to work on without that level of self shame again I In, in our generation we have to be very very cautious about using the word shame because we're not allowed to we'll see this soon the author will tell us we're not allowed to shame others it's a big biblical prohibition number two is a person should not be uh, online people feel like they can say whatever they want which is a, a, an abhorrent thing imagine this right who gives a newspaper the right to In their desire to share the news to annihilate people to murder people to crucify people because they're on the opposite political spectrum because they don't act like they do they're not their color they're not their their religion whatever it is who gives them that right but people think like well all in the name of news you In the name of news, you have the worst midos, the worst character traits of all. So I think it's, it's very, very important for us to realize that just because someone does something that we don't like doesn't mean that we're allowed to go out and, or have the right to go out and now plaster their names all over the billboards, et cetera, et cetera. Midas Habushi Higeder Godol Mechitzes Barzel Lefnei kol averis, having the proper shame will protect us from all of the sins. Ki adam over kam averis paseser. Imagine someone is uh, sinning privately. Many different sins. Okay, a few different sins. Mashem is bayish lasus bifnei b'ni adam. So would he do that in public? No, never do that in public. But privately, okay, but privately nobody knows. V'chein amur chachamim. At the, at the time that Rabbi Yochanan and Bezaka was passing away, his student said to him, Rabbeinu, our teacher, Barcheinu, give us a blessing. He said to them, this is on his deathbed, it should be the will of Hashem, that the fear of God should be like your fear for your fellow man. How many times would we do certain things only in private? Oh, nobody sees me, so that's fine. But out there in the public, I would never do that in front of other people. Amrulo ad kanvasulo, that's it? That's, that's your blessing for us? Your parting words before you're going to die? Amr lehem ulevai teidu kisha'odam oiver avera, just know, he says, halavai, we should understand that when someone commits a sin, Omer, he says, shaloyer any odam, I hope nobody sees me. V'chol zem epnei shiyori, and only because he's afraid. Because he's afraid of being embarrassed. He's afraid of that shame. He says, it's worthwhile. We know there's a, there's a famous principle in the Talmud that it's better to do things for non-altruistic purposes 
so that you'll come to do them altruistically. Meaning, you know, giving charity with your name posted all over the uh, the campaign is uh, something negative. Ah, I want everybody to know my, my name is is on that building and then I want everybody to know how generous I am with my charity. So although that's not modesty, but it's better to give charity in an immodest way because one day you'll come to do it modestly. So what we're seeing here is that people are afraid. When we talk about shame, people are afraid of what people will say, but they're not afraid what God will say. Right? I'll give you an example. Out in public, out in public, would someone who looks like me walk into a McDonald's and sit down and eat something? No. People were gonna people are gonna see me. But what's about in private? Hmm, I'll do a uh a, a, an Uber Eats and nobody will know. Nobody knows where that's coming from. Well, guess what? Someone who has proper busha, someone who has proper shame, won't do something privately that they wouldn't do publicly. That's the idea, is that if we're able to hone this trait of shame properly, what that will do is it will elevate us that even when we don't have that, when we when we have that concern of shame, because of what other people are going to say, what other people are going to think. But when I'm private, I'll just do what I want. No, 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 no. I'm going to use it also for when I'm private to to, uh, utilize that shame as well, even though nobody else sees, because God sees everything. I, I, I once told one of my students, I said, I want you to know something. If you want to know, I don't, I don't know when I said this, but he reminded me this uh, several years later. I told him the way that you conduct yourself privately in your bathroom is one of the definitions of how you are in your fear of heaven. Because we're in our bathroom. We do, we, nobody knows, nobody sees, nobody, right? It, it's private. It's me. It's just me alone. Well, guess what? The way in which we act there privately with modesty, the halacha says a person shouldn't reveal too much of themselves. Why? Well, who's, who's here? Nobody's going to see anything. Guess what? You have your own personal shame. You're a dignified human being. As a dignified human being, we should carry ourselves in a certain way, even if nobody sees. Even if nobody sees. The halacha says, for example, that a person shouldn't eat something that's larger than the size of an egg with their hands. Imagine what that what that means. That means we got to get our knife and fork out when we eat our pizza. Because it's bigger than the size of an egg. But what's the halacha telling us? It's undignified. It's undignified. We're royalty. As people who are royalty, you know, you'll never find a picture of the Queen of England eating. No place. You know why? Because eating is a dignified exercise. You don't do that in public. You don't eat in front of other people. In your own home. It's one thing. On camera. For sure not. It's an amazing thing. My dear friends, this concludes day 27.